Hello folks, Jonathan Milam here. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a wonderful day because I've got a great cornet and four trumpets here. Just a random selection happened to be what I've got out at the moment, and so we'll give them all a play. This is a neat cornet that I picked up here a while back. It is a Martin, Indiana, I think from about 38, although I'm told by a uh, Martin uh, aficionado that it could be a little bit newer than that because it has a pinky hook on it. But I haven't found anything that proves that conclusively. Uh, very modestly made horn, a uh, bell that's just about as big in this area as a 37, probably a little larger through here, but uh, just, I think, a tone to die for. I'm going to be using a very deep but very manageable cornet mouthpiece. This is a Warburton MBC. MBC. Couldn't tell you what it stands for. Very deep, but with a very livable drill size. So uh, anyway, we're going to tootle on the same song for all of these, and uh, it's Warburton Day. I'll be using a 6MC for the trumpets, but uh, for this, an MBC, and uh, definitely a deeper selection. And we're going to use the old If I Only Had a Heart. I think that's the way the Lion and the Wizard of Oz sang it. Isn't that a nice sound? Again, it is a Martin, Indiana. This is the predecessor. It came long before the uh, committee horn, but it does put out a very nice tone. Okay, another horn that I have wanted to pick up for a long time, finally got one. It is the Besson International, made by Canstall. Canstall, and they're no longer making horns, but this is especially for the price. They're not the most expensive horn. was made, I believe, to be an intermediate horn. The tone on this thing is very good. This would work very good for a beginner trumpet player. For some reason, I don't want to say it plays tight because I don't think it plays tight, but it gets such a clear tone and it is such an easy horn to produce a tone on. I think for a beginner it would be good, or if someone wanted a lead horn that would really get that strong projecting tone, I think this is a horn that would do it. Again, we're going to use the um, uh, it's a 6MC mouthpiece. Very, very uh, sharp definition to the bowl, and this one had Ken Titmus uh, hollow out the sides just a little bit. Chop room is what some people call it. Great sounding mouthpiece for trumpet if you like that clear sound. Okay, moving along quickly, I've got a Holton T101 here. Very much a copy of a Strad. And um, the interesting thing, I've looked at this, that really is a square type tuning slide. Of course, uh, my Strad slides fit in this. It is such a close copy. I've got a couple from MK Tuning and um, uh, very nice horn. 
great player here. Holton's T101. Great horn, if you can find one, they are worth the money. And they're almost always priced less than Strad's. And uh, I've got another video out on a couple of them. A silver one and uh, then a brass one. So if you look back in my history, the silver one was years ago, probably around uh, 2016 or 17. The other was uh, 2022, 2022. Okay, this is a box Stradivarius. It is the 37 model, and uh, again, another nice horn. It sounds very similar to the Holton. I think it's a shade darker, but um, other than that, very similar. Okay, and the last horn I've got today is another Stradivarius. It is the newer iteration. It is a 190 S43. Difference in uh, this Strad and the last one that I played, that was a 180 37. This is a 190. Um, they went back to a steel band in the bell rim, which, strangely enough, even though this is like an 81, 83 Strad, 180s, 37 that I played, it also has the steel rim. But they've definitely gone back to that in this. A side seam bell, and that side seam matches right up with the braces. And they say that gives the bell a little more ability to produce tone. And between the bell rim and the side seam, they say the feedback is better. Also, you've got... Uh, two-piece uh, valve casing here, and they say that aids as well. A lot of that is lost on me, but the basic sound is not. Great sounding horn. Of course, the 43 is a smaller uh, bell flare, tighter through here, a little easier to control to my way of thinking. Well, I guess we could title this Fun Time with Five Horns, but whatever we title it, thanks for joining us. Hope you have a good day. Love the comments if you've had these horns, mouthpieces. Love to hear what you think of them. The comments is really where we can uh, all learn from one another. Take care of yourself and someone near you.